Okay. I'm browsing through the internet and I see that the parents of the Sandy Hook Elementary School in Newton, Connecticut, um, talking to people in Washington about uh, strict uh, background checks for the guns and everything. And as I read the article, it said they would expand the background checks, strengthen laws against illegal gun trafficking, and slightly increase school security. Now, you're going to strengthen everything else, but you're going to slightly increase the school security. And sales by a private person and exempt. And I hope that no sale by anybody becomes exempt. These parents have to live with this tragedy every day of their life. And unless you have lost a child, you don't understand the difficulty it is to get up, to know that you carry something nine months, or if it was premature, and watch it born, and the doctor place that baby in your hand, only later on to find, to have somebody come along and just, steal their life because that's what that young man did when he went through that school shooting he stole those children lives kids lives are being stolen every day now this is going to pass the senate but the hurdle is getting it through the congress and i don't understand what the hurdle is um it's for the criminally and mentally ill it keeps them criminally and mentally ill from buying now, there's different avenues to why the things are going on, but you have to start somewhere. And I don't know why it's such a battle to get things passed that need to get passed. The petty stuff that you deal with and you don't need, that's the, that's the stuff that you push. Nobody should have to deal, no child is six years old, five years old, going to school to get an education thinking that they're going to get out of school and go home and they never make it there. And then the parents at home, at work, in the car, going to the grocery store, coming to the grocery store, and get a phone call and say it's something that tragic that happened. And it's your child. I think people will understand better if you have kids and you take your child and put it in that situation that happened at that Sandy Hook Elementary School. Or whatever news they have, take your child, that's a six-month-old baby, and put it in that place that was shot. An innocent child who deserves to live life. Put your child in that position. And then see if you have the same thought process. We should not wait till nothing hit our front door before we step into the plate and we do something to make a change. Now let me say this. That mother whose child went to Sandy Hook in Newton, Connecticut and shot those kids, she knew that boy was mentally sick. But instead of her getting him some help, she took that child to the gun range to show him how to shoot a gun. And then he take that and he go to the school and use it on the mother and the innocent kids. Now, let's stop sugarcoating stuff and let's call a spade a spade. If you have a sick child at home that you know they're not right in the head, you need to turn their behind it and get them some help. Let's pull the covers off and let's call it what it is. And for all these politicians, don't see that there is a need and it's um, invading people's right. Well, here we have a right to speech. You invade that too. And again, I say your oath of office is to stand up and make a difference. These parents are hurting. Any parent that has a child that's had their life has been taken unexpectedly, it wasn't planned, they wasn't sick, a bullet don't have no name on it when it's coming out the gun, nor do it have a map or GPS and say, okay, bypass this person and hit that person. It don't have that. And I continue to say you cannot correct an oops because once that bullet leaves that chamber, it's out there. It's a done deal. We got Sandy Hook. We got people in the elementary school. I mean, in the in, in the movie getting killed. We got people in the colleges getting killed. Through the windows, living room, basement, and kitchen. When do you feel that something should be done to make a difference? You have to start somewhere. And it's just not the president's fight. If you're a parent and if you think about being a parent, you want your kids to be safe. In school, walking the street, playing in the playground, or whatever it may be. And it's our job to make sure that happens. 
It breaks my heart to see these parents on TV crying. Their heart broken because their child is gone, never to return again. So when do, in the hell do we feel that there's a need to stand and make a difference? And you politicians, get off y'all behinds and do your doggone job. And I'll say this again, and I'll say it again, and I'll say it again. It ain't about you. You get a check off taxpayer dollars. Do your job or release that check. Bottom line, kids deserve to live.